Welcome back everyone. I um, just finished cleaning my bike. She's all immaculate and clean and everything, so it's awesome. Haven't cleaned her for a while, but fucking hell, the amount of rain that I've been getting. Look at this shit weather. It's kind of hard to see because I've got the direction of the camera looking down, but hopefully it's wide enough angle to see that it's crap weather outside, so I haven't, as I've <laughs> stated in previous videos, that it's been shit weather and I haven't been riding much. I haven't had uh, time to do things. But you see in a lot of forums people asking how the fuck do you get rid of this shit, which is your chain lube. I don't know if that light is actually helping you see it, but it's all up on the inside of my fucking wheel. And this is, ooh, I missed a spot in cleaning. Oh, well, I can fix that. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's all along the whole inside of my tire, which is fucking awesome. Not. So, I decided to make a video as to my methods of cleaning that shit off, which is this beautiful stuff right here. WD-40. So many uses. Get yourself a microfiber cloth. I don't know what the fuck was on that, but it'll do. It's pretty filth, so may as well use it. Um, yeah, doesn't take much of this. It's not going to hurt the paintwork because it's got all like fish oil and shit in it. So you know, it's mainly for lubricating metal parts and shit like that. But the lubrication can help get all that crap off. So long as you do not get it on your tire. Worst thing, you don't exactly want a slippery tire. And as you may be able to see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I'm starting the way through the center of my tire. She's getting very thin layered right there. I can sort of tell I'm getting close to the end of this tire because every time I go for a ride, it starts to get like little cuts in it. And to me, from my experiences with tires, once you start getting that, it means you're starting to wear through the center. It doesn't look too bad. I've had tires a hell of a lot worse and I've got plenty of grip. But here I haven't worn through much. I've, I've actually hit here more than I have here. So I must go from center to just fucking straight out lean all the time. Anyway, so we'll get to it. I'll just spray it. I can't even remember how I used to do this because I haven't done it for a while. But we'll, uh, Fucking dogs are doing something else. So, I don't know if you can see it very well, but you just spray it onto your cloth or... And already, I've just got that section clean. It took me the whole of two seconds. This stuff has probably been baked on there for a good while now, and it's coming off really well, easily. So, I'm just gonna go a quick run. Just to sort of make my life a little bit easier. Do the same on the other side because this shit goes everywhere and I'm not getting it out on my tires whatsoever and now it all sort of penetrate eh, penetrate yes I'm immature I know but um fucking tires man I'm sick of buying new tires just bought a new set of Q3s I do like these tires they're also twos for the, for, um, these are also twos at the moment. I had Q3s on there beforehand, but uh, I'm going back to Q3 because I seem to get more lean angle and the, the how many Ks I've got out of this tire isn't much different for a tire that's uh, supposedly not as good for track use and whatnot. But look at this, this shit is coming off super easy. That section there, I don't know, where's me fucking light? That section there is now pretty much immaculately clean. Like, they're all stone chips and that, so I can't get that off, obviously. But look at this. Dirt, dirt. You watch. Let's see if I can get this and hold two things at once. I'm sure I can. So, you can see all that crap there. She's already penetrated to the point where I can just get it off with my finger. And boom. That's all that black shit on my cloth. So Boom, motherfucker. Fucking 
hate this stuff. It makes your wheels look like shit. It all gets on the inside of my wheel here too. Fucking pain in the ass to get off. I hate chain loop, man. It's great for your chain, but it's fucking shit for your bloody wheels and everything else and all up there. Fucking look at all of me light there. Gotta get that off. But like, if anyone's worried about the chemicals that are in WD-40, and go, oh, but, you know, it might damage the paint on your wheel. Well, you know, you just, you're only doing this to get the stuff off. You can, you know, get some freaking spray, which I will after this, to sort of polish it up. I've got like that, uh, Meguiar's, because I love Meguiar stuff. It works really well. Um, this spray wash shit, I don't know what it is. But it's like, it works well, really good on gloss. I use it a lot when I just need to do touch-ups on the bike for cleaning rather than doing a full wash. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much done. I didn't actually have that much on the inside of my tire as much as, uh, inside of my tire, inside of my wheel as much as I thought I would. But my chain's getting a little bit dirty, but it, it's, uh, uh, it's getting a bit dry. No, I don't know. I'm not gonna spray any more new shit on it yet. Just yet. But even that, like just using the residue on the clock itself, I'm getting most of that shit off. Look at that. Fucking shine man. Shining. Shine bright like a diamond. I don't know the rest of the words. That's better as far as it goes. Look at that. Beautiful. When you just do that on both sides, and you'd be right. What the fuck? What is that? I did not, oh, that must, shit. So that's what happens. You use too much, it goes on your tire, but that's okay, I'll burn that out when I go for a ride. Fuck, I didn't want that. Where the hell, oh, it's going down there, you filthy kid. No, that'll come out. That's something you don't want to happen. So maybe don't spray the whole wheel like I did, you know, or maybe just don't spray so much, because I did actually spray a fair bit. <laughs> or just do sections at a time. I'm just impatient, and I like doing things all in one hit. <laughs> but, and doing this after you clean the bike also gives you a chance to double check it that you cleaned everything in the wheels because anybody that has ever cleaned the bike knows that it's a fucking pain in the ass to clean bikes but the wheels of the bike it's not exactly the easiest to get your hands all in all the fucking boobs and shit come on yeah you get clean clean you up I mean fucking just look at it it's shine Shiny, yeah, boy. It's done. I don't even know if I've got uh, that much on the front. Like, not chain loop, but dirt on me. It's not exactly like I'm gonna get chain loop on the front. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty. So we'll just shine these up a bit more with some WOD. So yeah, now that you know that WD-40 works so fucking well on chain lube, and just, and just annihilating that shit, you can uh, stop writing on posts on forums saying, how the fuck do I get it off? What is that? Good. Yeah, you can use this WD-40 on anything. It's not gonna damage anything make you slip over when you get that much of it on your tire. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking old tire anyway, I need to get a new one. Well, I actually have bought new ones. I just got away from the rock up. I bought them in a set. It was like 300 bucks to buy a Q3 on the rear, or 450 to buy a front and a rear at the same time. Free postage. I mean, you can't go wrong, honestly. Fucking need to clean that cloth. And then, after you've done that, you just find yourself a... Well, you could use glass cleaner if you really wanted to. Glass cleaner works really well for gloss paint. Um, but I won't. I'll use another microfiber, which is kind of dirty still, but this is the one I use for all of my shit like this. 
you just spray it directly onto your cloth rather than onto the wheel and then just go over it and then you'll because that's got a, a wax in it it's a wash of wax it's going to help protect the paint on the wheel and will hopefully you know UV protected as well as make it easy to uh, get any dirt and shit off of it and that decides to stick to the bike. Boosh. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice short video, short tutorial on how the fuck to get chain lube off your bike. I mean, it's not that hard. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered moving the bike, so there's probably going to be a spot that I've missed, like right at the back there. But who gives a shit? I'll worry about that if I see it, which I haven't seen it. So if I didn't see it, it doesn't exist. Hello, big fella. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to elbow you in the face. You bloody. You've already got a squished up in my face. Don't need to have me making it worse. <coughs> Done deal. That's all there is to it. That's all she wrote. Well, thank you everyone for watching. As you can see, she is now one shiny tire. Ah, wheel. Well, tire too, because I got all that shit on the tire. But that's not what you want to do. You just want a shiny wheel. Unless you've got a matte coloured wheel, then you don't really want it shiny. But WD-40 still won't, as far as I know, still won't damage matte paints. Because, yeah, it's fish oil. It's fucking fish oil with a bunch of other shit in it that helps ensure things stay slippery. <laughs> and we all love slippery things. Boom. Done. Thank you for watching. Here's my beautiful bike in all its glory with its cleanliness. It'll probably last two days. Thank you for watching. Yeah.